Speedino update for you guys and a general update. So, um, as some of you know, right now I've got two beta test units out and I've got my own, which is actually this one right here. Um, I have got one unit out to Calvin Nelson, I've got another unit out to uh, Kevin Blakesley. Um, they are testing them on the 4200 engines. And, uh, well, we've had some issues on Calvin's. Um, it's, it, it's starting to look like there's something wrong with the 7X uh, decoder for the 7X uh, crank wheel. So his, um, and we're having a flex fuel input that I've got, or issue that I've got to look into as well. Because it's working fine for him with the um, engine off, but with the engine running, his numbers are going all over the place. So i got to see if it's, if it's something with the box or something with his car, because he said that his car wiring's a little messed up too. So we're not sure yet. Um, I don't have mine hooked up with ethanol right now because I'm getting, I don't know, I'm getting soft <laughs> the older I get. And I don't like working in cold weather. It's January right now in the middle of PA and it's, you know, low 30s, high 20s. And I don't have a heated garage to work out of. So the Firebird's kind of been parked. I've just been starting, you know, every couple of weeks just to keep the fluids, you know, running through it or whatever and, you know. It's not good to let the valve spring sit that long or whatever. So I do start it up and run it a little bit just in the garage. But I haven't been working on it. So because of that, um, I haven't had time to get my flex fuel sensor installed and, you know, do some testing with it. So I need to do that. Um, and I know some, like, he's having a couple other issues too with his map sensor. And, um, or map reading and VE reading. Like his VE table was, fueling was a little weird. And the... Unit I shipped him out with had um, the it'd be the September firmware release, and there's been a firmware release since then. So um, I'm actually getting everything kind of set up to make a video on how to update the firmware on these. So that's going to be coming up. And that was another thing with this video. I wanted to let you guys know that you're going to see a couple of videos drop. You know, video after video after video. It's going to be a little odd for me. Um, or for this channel, but it's just because I've been sick for the last week. I'm finally good enough to where I can start working on stuff in the, you know, on my, um, these, the wide bands, you know, so on and so forth. So because of that, I'm going to start doing some drops on some videos and just doing how to's and like, I want to do a how to with the cry cut because I've had some ex um, interest in that. So I'm going to do start for, start to finish. It won't be an open box video because obviously the box has been opened. I've been using it, but it, I will. My plan is to make a video of if you are a gearhead getting into making your own bumper stickers or whatever, and um, you're looking for information on how to get started. That's the video I plan on putting out. Um, because if you like YouTube uh, cry cut, almost every video you will see is geared towards women, which isn't a bad thing, don't get me wrong, and that's, I had to watch those videos to get started, but I figure a lot of guys would like to have a how-to video from a, you know, automotive enthusiast standpoint, so I'm going to do that. Um, also working on the wideband gauge, and I've got most of the code sorted out for that, that's going to be another thing I'm going to do, I, you know, my introduction to Arduino or whatever series has been extinct for a while, so I want to bring back some coding. And that's another thing. Oh, apparently someone doesn't like this way I say Arduino. I know it's Arduino. I don't care. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> so I, I apparently I've had a couple comments saying, you know, one guy, I think his name was James, said, I hate the way this guy says Arduino, but he likes the informational informa or the information in my videos, which I thank you for liking the information I put out there, but I'm going to keep saying Arduino because it's easier for me. I know I'm misspelling or mis pronouncing it, and I don't really care, so there's that, um, <laughs> but anyway, getting back to this, the Speedino update, um, we are having some issues, as I said, with the 4200 straight six, um, Kevin is going to be working with me, I, this, the next video you're going to see drop is going to be how to update the firmware on these, because you got to do it outside a car, so I'm going to show you how to do that step by step, um, get that done, and uh, we're going to update the firmware on it. That should fix the VE uh, fueling and a couple other odds and ends. And 
Once it starts getting warm again, I'm going to be working with mine. That's why I have not released these for sale yet, though. I want to get everything kind of bugged out, figured out, and going before I sell them. So I've only got those two units out and then my own personal unit. I've got parts here to make a couple more when I get to that point, but I ha I'm not there yet. I just want to get all the bugs figured out, get everything situated, and then I will release them. So I know guys have been looking for them. I've been getting some messages about them. That's what's going on. I don't want to release a bad product. So, and what, being that this is an intra computer and it's a very vital part, um, and there's a lot of testing because there's a lot of inputs and outputs and stuff like that, it just takes a while to get them tested. So, that's why you haven't seen them for sale yet, um, and that's what's going on there. So, excuse my work, messy workbench I've been working on, kind of organizing, I haven't gotten everything done yet, but these. So, update on these, I've got the two beta test units out. They have not had time to test them yet, so that's kind of what's going on there. Um, once they get them tested, and uh, thank you guys for testing, you know, being willing to test them, the two I have out. Um, once they are tested, I have got, I think, parts to make five or six of them currently, and then I've got the stuff. I'm going to have um, two DIY kits in stock for the first release. I may order more stuff um, and go from there. Uh, I've sold one already. I haven't heard if, how it's working yet, even though they're in beta test mode. He wanted to buy one as is, and I was like, okay, it works on the bench. I showed him videos of it working on the bench, and he wanted it, so I sent him one. Um, the price point is on my website. I've got all that stuff typed up and done already, I believe. If not, it's going to happen today. So it should be all on my website already, though. I think I have them underneath the Twisted Builds Wideband page. Um, underneath my products page, I believe. So... Um, that's an update with that. I've got the gauge is a work in progress. As I said, I got the code and everything figured out on that. It's going to be using a, a Trinket MO, which is the updated Trinket. You've probably seen that in my last videos. Um, I've got uh, my, PC, my prototype PCB board getting built right now. I should have it, I'm guessing, next week at some point. Um, not this week, but the following that way I can uh, get it assembled in a little in a little 3D printed housing and test it with these. So that's happening. Once I get that tested, um, I will start producing units and uh, producing gauges and hopefully this will get tested and everything there will be done and I'll start hammering out wide bands. And in my spare time, as I said, I'm going to be working on the speedy nose. So that is just a thing where I just want to be 100% sure these are good to go. Thankfully, thank you, Calvin. Thank you, Kevin, for testing these. As I said, mine and my LS works great. You know, all the ignition and everything works great. But Calvin's noticed... Oh, I never did finish that. Um, he ran this on the dyno, which it runs the VVT and everything on the 4200 perfectly. However, it was a, almost 100 horse down, which is not right. Um, he verified this timing, and we know the timing is 5 degrees retarded. Um, and the way the decoder set up right now, the trigger wizard won't allow you to advance or retard it. So, um, we're going to have to get that fixed. And I think it's a matter of like, so these things, because it's a six cylinder, it's fired and wasted, wasted spark. So it's got two cylinders, two cylinders, two cylinders fired. So it's ignition output one, two, and three. So, and they're, you know, they're wired together and it's a waste fire setup. I'm thinking the time between, you know, 1 and 2 and then 2 and 3 is messed up with the firing order on these things. So, like, you know, say, for instance, you're commanding 20 degrees uh, ignition advance when cylinder 1 fires. And the next cylinder in the firing order, or the next batch of cylinders in the firing order, could be 10 degrees because the timer is off on the, on the decoder. Or at least I'm thinking that's what's going on. He swapped to back to his uh, Mega Squirt because he had this on a jumper harness and got his horsepower back. So obviously it's something wrong with the decoder. And as I said, there's something. It's either his car related or it's box related with the flux fuel input. That's the one thing I haven't checked yet. Everything else works. Um, so because of that, I again it's cold weather. I need to get either warm weather or figure out what's going on with the flux input. After that, we'll be good to go. And these are ready to go for the LS, as I've proven with my Firebird. It's just a flex fuel input. So I want to test that out. And uh, besides for that, these will work the LS 4200, or, or sorry, the LS 24X motors, no issue. Um, 
the 58X I would like to get someone to try. It should with just changing jumper selections. But um, it should run the 58X motor no issue as well. But again, we're going to have to do a little bit more testing before I am ready and comfortable to release these. So that is your Speedino update. Um, and wideband update and general business update. As I said, my next video dropping is going to be how to update the firmware in these and uh, reload the tune, so on and so forth. So, and then after that, as I said, I'm going to do a cry cut video. So you're going to just see a couple of videos drop pretty directly. So, all right. If you guys are any rest or interested in any of the videos or staying in touch or whatever, please subscribe to this channel. Um, and uh, like us on Facebook. You can find find me at uh, Twisted Builds LLC. It should pop right up um, with my nice little logo. So, alright guys. Hey, thanks for watching and have a good one.